Test, 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 check, check, check. So, I'm struggling with my equipment a little bit. Um, not just with the cam, this video is terrible, but also with the microphone. Anyway, hmm. anyway, I just got this Saiga 12 from Double Bell. Double Bell does this terrible thing with the AKs that there is this plastic knob on the fire selector and above that there is a screw. So you will always fucking destroy this selector thing. But um, yeah, if you just wobbled it a little bit, you can get under it with a screwdriver. Anyway, I may not put this back together. Um, basically, this is an AK. So, um, this is a one barrel shotgun style standard AEG AK. Which is quite awesome if you ask me. So, it looks like a Saiga 12. Uh, Saiga 12K. Um, but it is actually a pretty standard double bell AK, which shoots pretty well, um, which works quite consistent and um, which is a very, very nice base for tuning. So, first of all, we got this quite well-made gearbox um, and it contains a quick change system which is nice and they actually put a screw on it to hold it which most uh, other manufacturers don't do so if I put a weaker spring in it the um, spring guide may wobble um, but in this case it can't. The spring guide has some ridiculously small screw threading in there, which is a little bit strange, um, but most aftermarket spring guides also fit. So you of course need a quick detached spring guide, but most of them fit. I will show you very quick. First one here was in Spectner Arms spring guide, second one here I don't have a clue, but all of these fit in the gearbox. I will just do it for you. So this green thingy thing is uh, Spectner Arms or s &T maybe, but these are all the same. So this one fits and the other one I got. Give me a second. I'm sorry, by the way, that I have no sound. I will add a little bit of music to make it less uncomfortable, but uh, the sound in the workshop was quite bad. This may be a D-Boys quick detached spring guide, which is also Spectre Arms, actually. So this is all one, one factory. The spring is pretty hefty. Um, the energy is about 1.7 joules with uh, 0.28 meters from the stock gun, which is not bad. The gearbox has, uh, I guess, 8 millimeter ball bearings complete, um, and everything else is quite standard. The motor is quite standard. The wiring is actually quite good for standard system of course. It's easy to bend and yeah, it's something in between the usual absolute crap and a good silicon wire. So after a few problems with my cam, i just gonna sh give you a quick view on the internals. 
first thing is a uh, gearbox shell. There is no radius man made. Um, we have uh, the 8mm bearings, which are um, yeah, which are standing a little bit into the shell. Which means if you want to shim this correctly, you may need other bearings, kind of flat type. Um, they got this max copy piston head. I also got two O-rings on it. It's decently sealed. And we got a full metal rack on the piston. And of course a ball bearing and the nozzle contains an O-ring and gives a decent air seal. And more important, it moves very smoothly. And if you check how good the seal is on this position, very nice. Alright, that's it. This is uh, the internal stuff. Everything else here, full metal rack piston, is pretty normal. We got um, a tablet plate delayer on the sector gear. But, um, yeah, these gears are completely normal, nothing special, my equipment is fucking around, of course, god damn it. Yeah, well, um, there are just a few shims, so if you consider reshimming, you will definitely need a shim set, and probably new bearings. Um, this is a standard switch. And it's actually screwed in, which is not normal. Saima doesn't. <laughs> and very fast. Next, very bad cut. I would like to show you the hop system. There is also this L type lock and the spring. And um, the disassembly of the thing is a little weird because uh, you need to remove this little screw in there and you remove the pin and then the front set will not get loose. Which is weird, cause it looks like a regular AK type and uh, yeah, you need this one. But it won't get loose. So next rough cut, I got it off. What's strange on this thing, uh, first of all, you can get out the complete hop block if you go to the rear end. Of course, you don't have to, you can just unscrew it. And there it is. If my cam wouldn't fuck around, you can see a threading here. So the front end is actually screwed in and then secured with the pin and the grub screw. Which is a weird way of telling I don't want you to just put my cool Saiga 12 front end to any other AK. <laughs> so yeah, you need to remove the screw, both screws on the side, then you can um, the, uh, get, get the gas block front and then you can ah uh, first you first you need to remove the handguard this is one screw this one uh this whole and then you can unscrew the whole thing from the receiver a little bit strange but if you know how to do it it's very easy next up i will try to convert one of these Saiga magazines which are actually ak magazines to a midcap